if you remember when I got the Lido mount going and I put this in my truck, I had to take the cage off of it because the cage blocks access to the quarter 20 hole on the radio. And uh, I lived with it for a while. I mean, up until now, because I went to the Huntsville Ham Fest looking for nothing in particular. Well, that's not true. I went looking for a deal on a mobile amp, something uh, that will take power from my 7300 and amplify it to, I don't know, maybe 500 watts for when I'm at the park. Didn't find that, but I did find this. This is an armor lock cage. Now, keep in mind that the way it came at the show was already assembled and I'm pretty sure that they shipped these flat packed. In other words, uh, this plate comes off from this plate, from that plate, and you know, just kind of nests together. And then, you know, they have these locking kind of 90 degree nuts here. I didn't have to assemble this is what I'm getting at. However, the one thing that it solves for me is that it, uh, it lets me cage the radio and still leaves me access to the quarter 20 threaded hole on the radio for me to mount it on the Lido mount in the truck. So yeah, yeah, I went ahead and uh, bought it because why not? Proper cage and bonus, you know, you can get this option with it where you extend the BNC port to the front uh, to, a, a, I think that's TNC, and then it has the adapters to go BNC, TNC to BNC and whatnot all built in. Let's put the radio in here and uh, get it taken care of. This shouldn't be terribly long. Oh, and bonus, this is a, a deeper cage than the uh, other cage I had, the wind camp I have. Uh, anybody wants to buy a wind camp, let me know. I'm gonna sell it, make you a deal. Let's see what size that is. Uh, what should be something that is missing from my toolkit here? Oh no, look at that, lucky. Two and a half millimeters. It's the driving, uh, the hex driver on here. Okay, plan B. We gotta put something on to wedge the radio up into the cage or down into the cage so that I can thread it. Let's see, will that work? Some box from some sensors. Nope, just a smidge too much. Could I do it this way? Or is that not gonna be aligned? You know what, it's probably gonna be easier that way than the way I was trying it. <sighs> Stand by for plan F by now. Plan F, uh, I have a quarter 20 bolt that is plenty long. So I'm just gonna take that, screw it into the 20, quarter 20 hole on the radio, and now I can use that to lift the radio into position and get these bolts done up. That's much better. Jeez, why didn't I think of that sooner? Also gonna back this off a bit now that they are all threaded in and use that uh, quarter 20 bolt to center it. And uh, the obligatory torquing to spec. Click, 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 click. That's just for Vince. Now I can take that bolt off and most importantly, return my Allen wrench to the holder because otherwise I'll never find it. Let me see if there's a, a, a standard size that'll fit it. Eh, 564 sort of gets in there, but it's wiggling, it's loose, so it's definitely a two and a half millimeter drive. That portion's done. Let's get the uh, extendo mount going here. Oh, hindsight, you're a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is what I meant with the, uh, the way it's assembled. Let me get you a better look at this. So these bolts are kind of like T-slots. 
but they're not kind of like T-slots. They are T-slots. Look at that. And basically on something like this, you get a T-slot that applies. You can slide it through, turn it 90 degrees, lock it in, and then bolt in whatever you want. In this case, we're gonna bolt in the holder for uh, this extender. That way the strain of uh, strain of the connection is on the extender and not on the radio, which I haven't had until now. Give that a couple of twists to keep it there. All the way through, eyeball it there. Suppose I need to get my two and a half mil back out. Make sure you seat the, <laughs> the T of the nut on one on the slot itself where it's just gonna spin like it just did for me. Ooh, am I gonna do that? Oh heck yeah. That's definitely a better setup. And uh, while I was you know fishing this cable around I realized that this is uh, this adapter is made by ABR so quality coax going in I gotta figure out what size uh, wrench to use there be right back figured went right out of the gate I went ahead and got my metric crescent wrench you know keep in mind this is metric not to be confused with standard okay you have to use the metric side and now all I have to do is put this adapter on here and I'm back to B and C for the antennas that I have already set up. The only thing I wish I had that it doesn't have is an extender for power. Some, you know, some kind of a bracket like this to mount the auxiliary power here. Although for my use, the auxiliary power would be back here anyways because you know my Denco sits under it all the time. These, this cage protects the radio a little bit better than the one I had before because it sticks out farther and it covers all of the controls way better all the while giving me access to that quarter 20 so that I can mount this in the truck be able to take it on and off out of the truck when I'm doing parachute mobile easily now comes the moment of truth I did this all without double checking and uh, that's maybe an eighth of an inch recessed in there and uh, that may be uh, the stub on that may be too small come on baby thread thread oh you know what i bet you if i take this adjustment knob out of the way i will have enough thread to do that aha look at that and now all i have to do is unlock the uh the joint here and re-angle it Oh, you know what? It needs that. Uh, it needs that knob for the basing, for for stabilizing the base. Back to square one. Let's see. Can I make this happen? That's as snug as that's gonna go. And I don't think that engages enough thread. I could be wrong. Let me just take this entire thing out of the doobly do here, and let's see if it'll thread nope it's not even catching a thread let alone thread alone so here we are a few days later and uh, where we left it this thing wasn't quite long enough to do get the job done yeah insert jo jokes here went on Amazon and unfortunately none of the devices like this you can get on Amazon have measurements of the length of the post so right now I can tell you this one is uh, so roughly 140 thousands in length. And basically what I did was I counted the number of threads that I could see above the plate and I scrutinized every picture I could find on Amazon uh, of things like it for more than those threads. Well, I found this one, this is a bullet point literally in the package i haven't tested it yet so we're going to find out together if this is the ticket to the problem so now let's see what uh, we have in terms of thread depth definitely more than 140 thousandths but is it enough this is the one i could find that had the most threads showing in their pictures okay 
There we go, that is 250 thousandths. This is a quarter inch of thread. And then let's see if it actually matches the 20 millimeter ball that they advertise. Right on the money, right at uh, 20, 20 millimeters. It's a top scale on this uh, caliper. I don't know if it'll focus well enough that you guys can see it or not. So now the moment of truth is, are we going to have enough engagement here? Oh, we get like a thread and a half. Yeah. All right. The, uh, progress for sure. Now, let me see if I can do this without bumping my camera. Hot dog. Look at that. So I had to spend a few more bucks on uh, this thing. I'll put a link to the Amazon uh, for this. Uh, designed in Toledo, Ohio, made in China. But uh, it's a bullet point 20 millimeter, uh, quarter 20, what the heck is it called? Yeah, the BMS 1420 threaded 20 millimeter ball. There you go. Uh, I will, like I said, I'll put a, an affiliate link in the description down in the video. But now we know that my Lido arm thing works with bullet point. Uh, we also know that, at least my no, I also know that this stuff is ex more expensive because it's bullet point, you know, it's fancy. But at least it got the job done the way I needed it done. Uh, so now I can unthread this out of here, put it in my parachute mobile bag and I'm fine. And then still have it in the truck when I'm driving and have access to it. That's all I got on this one, y'all. Catch you on the next one, 7-3.